Hello and welcome to this Forex Preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardis and joining me is investment analyst Christina Parthenidou. We'll be looking at China's data releases this Thursday, including GDP readings for the second quarter. So, Christina, the first quarter was devastating for China because of the COVID-19 lockdown, which squeezed the economy by 6.8% year on year. How do you think the economy evolved in the second quarter and what might the data mean for global markets? Uh, hi, Maria. Well, China was the first to relax uh, restrictions uh, in March. So all the fears of not catching the virus continue to restrict outdoor activities and they still do consumption and business activities were stronger and were further supported by the massive stimulus measures the government and the central bank delivered. So uh, the economy is widely expected to have rebounded from the lows in the first quarter. Now, how strongly the, the economy has improved in the second quarter, uh, forecasts suggest that China returned to growth, expanding by 2.5% year on year. Uh, monthly figures for retail sales, industrial production are also expected to have extended their recovery in June. Uh, I think urban investment may attract attention to this week and also in the coming months after local governments received trillions to fund infrastructure projects. So uh, stronger data are highly priced in and following better than expected trade figures earlier this week. We shouldn't rule out any positive surprises. Now, what's the importance of these releases is that China is the second largest economy in the world and a crucial exporter after the US. So it plays a significant role how international activities are performing in the global economy. Uh, the fact that the second wave of infections looks more manageable in China compared uh, to the serious virus spikes in the US is further increasing optimism about the economy. And this is another reason why the Chinese media appeared confident last week saying that the country is headed for greater prosperity, uh, triggering the impressive rally we saw in China's uh, stock markets. Okay, now speaking about markets, could the data boost buying sentiment this week? Uh, well, if you look at how markets perform, we can realize that there's a battle between risk taking and safety. Uh, we have some progress in drug trials from several countries, uh, data improving and governments and central banks are willing to release more stimulus around the world, which in return creates a feeling of safety and therefore adds strong footing under uh, riskier assets. On the other hand, no one has a clear view on how the virus will develop in the near future, when a vaccine will be available, and more importantly, how many people will accept to get vaccinated. So uncertainty remains large and safe, uh, safe haven assets are expected to remain well supported, at least in the foreseeable future. Now about the data impact, markets are thirsty for some good news, so positive outcomes will be more than welcome pushing currencies which are sensitive to Chinese to the Chinese economy higher, especially uh, especially if GDP figures beat forecasts. However, there is something that could hold traders back and therefore cut some gains from the Aussie. And this is China's political background. Uh, relations with the US are moving in the wrong direction as regards trade and whose responsibility the virus outbreak is. Uh, Hong Kong security law is having further political pressure in the least of countries opposing that law continues to increase, including Australia and the UK, which are also against Huawei's 5G network. Uh, besides that, uh, tensions in the South China Sea and, military, and the military bases there are another worry, while relations with India is another open question after the violent clash in the Himalaya. So even though geopolitics uh, didn't cause much market attention, I think they are worth of attention and could keep markets busy later in the year as US November elections approach. Christina, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.